What's up everybody, this is Aaron and in today's video we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the just released Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. Welcome back and I'd first like to mention that I will be giving away a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition here on the channel. All you need to do to enter is subscribe here on YouTube and make sure and hit that bell icon and turn notifications on. And follow me on Twitter, I'm at ReviewTheBest. And again, hit that bell icon on my Twitter profile and make sure notifications are turned on. Once you've done that, take a screenshot showing me that you have done so and send it to me on Twitter. And that's it, you'll be entered into the contest. The contest starts today and ends in two weeks. Both winners will be chosen randomly and will be direct messaged on Twitter. And if the contest runs smooth and everything works out great, then I might even run a contest on the first mini console that Nintendo released and that was the Nintendo Classic Mini. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. On the top front of the box it says Super Nintendo Entertainment System. We also have a picture of the console itself. And as you can see, we get two controllers with this unit and also a brief description of some of the games included. On the left side of the box is a picture of the controller and also a brief description of it. it says play classic Super Nintendo Entertainment games the way they were meant to be played on a full size original Super NES controller. All you need to do is plug it in and you're ready to go. It includes all the original features, a control pad for quick controlling movements, A, B, X, and Y buttons for rapid fire action, special L and R shoulder buttons, and select and start for menu selection and pausing the game. And on the right side is a picture of the console with another brief description. It says a super retro blast from the past with the return of the all-time fan favorite Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This mini-sized Super NES Classic Edition system is packed with over 20 pre-installed classic Super Nintendo Entertainment System games from the 90s, fully loaded and ready to play using original style Super NES Classic controllers. And the top of the box says classics. On the back of the box is some gaming artwork along with a list of the included games, including Contra 3 Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby Superstar, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island, and also included is a never-before-released sequel to Star Fox, Star Fox 2. And the box is the same size as the original NES Classic Edition. In terms of the unboxing, we get an excellent presentation from Nintendo. Opening up the lid of the box and sliding out the interior contents, we're presented with a warranty guide as well as a poster, with one side of the poster being startup instructions, and the other side being some artwork of the 21 games included. It also says now you're playing with power at the top and Super Nintendo Entertainment System at the bottom. Also included in the box is a wall adapter for charging, as well as our first controller, which is a wired controller and has all the appropriate buttons that the original controller has. And it also has a fairly long cord, especially in comparison to the original NES Classic. And here's our second controller. Next in the box is the console itself, we'll go ahead and place that off to the side for now. We also get a micro USB charging cable, as well as a HDMI cable. And lastly we have the console itself wrapped in this protective packaging. The console definitely brings back memories and is extremely small. Now this thing looks and feels just like the original, again except super small. The device has four rubber feet on the bottom helping to ensure no unwanted movement when placed on a flat surface. Although the console comes with 21 pre-installed games, it still fits in the palm of my hand. Just for a quick size comparison, here's the SNES Classic compared to the NES Classic. Taking a closer look at the top of the console, we're first presented with what appears to be a slot that would push down in to accept a game cartridge like it did on the original console. However, that specific location doesn't open or function as you don't need to place physical games inside of the device. So it's just there to maintain the hardware look of the original. Underneath that is some Super Nintendo Entertainment System branding. Directly underneath that we have two LEDs on the left side of our power button and on the right side is our reset button and directly in the middle is an eject button. Taking a closer look at the front we have an LED light on the left that lets us know when the console is in use. We also have our first controller slot on the left with an LED light. We also have our second controller slot on the right with two LED lights. Located on the back is our HDMI port as well as our DC in port. We also have a vent at the top to help with heat dissipation. 
The console is around the same width as the NES Classic Edition, with the original NES Classic being a little bit taller. The controllers feel excellent in the hand, and the buttons have great tactile feedback. And shout out to Nintendo for this time including a long enough controller cord. There's a couple cool features that Nintendo added to this Super Nintendo Classic Edition that the original Super Nintendo obviously didn't have. One feature is the Rewind feature. This is an all new feature that lets you rewind a minute or more based on your game's last suspend point. Each game can save up to four suspend points. Another new feature is My Game Play Demo. This new demo mode will replay your saved suspend points as part of the demo game footage instead of using built-in demos, which is cool. And also a new feature called Frame, which will wrap a cool border around your game, and the frame will change color based on the game being played. Don't forget to enter the Super NES Classic Edition giveaway by following me here on YouTube and on Twitter. I'm at Review the Best. Also make sure and turn on notifications on both YouTube and Twitter platforms and send me a screenshot of you doing so. And also make sure and show me your appreciation by dropping a like rating down below. If you're interested in further information, pricing, and availability, all relevant links will be located down in the video description. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified of future uploads. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.